Are you one of those players obsessed in making their smashes strong? Well, good news. This video is all about that. I'll be teaching all the little details that contribute to making a good strong smash. Hi, I'm Coach Kenny Sean, and I've been a badminton professional coach for many years. I teach everything and anything badminton, all the little details on how to do certain shots, all the way to your mindset. No matter how good we are, we always feel that there is a need for improvement in terms of the strength of our smash. So do continue watching on the video and you will see all the little details that you need to take a close look and make sure that you do each little thing correctly. A lot of people are very concerned in making their smashes stronger. In reality, it's not just about the strong smash itself. It's easy to practice it, but we also have to know all the little details that come into making your smashes stronger. So we have to start with the grip. When you make a forehand smash, definitely you have to hold it the right way, like you're shaking someone's hand, your normal grip. So for a regular forehand smash, or even an overhead smash, an overhead smash would mean on your you know, on your backhand side, but you are using the overhead. So in terms of the grip, they will be the same. For a backhand smash, you will have to move into the bevel grip. The bevel grip is technically on the corner of the flat surface and the other side of the racket. So make sure that your grip is correct. That is the first thing you need to be aware of. Second, when executing a smash, you need to go close to the shuttle. The closer you are to the shuttle, the better it is because you will be more comfortable in executing that smash. Now, there are also different key factors to making it strong. You have to hit it comfortably high as high as you can and then it also has to be slightly in front of you for the forehand smash okay otherwise if you do it here on the side or behind you then that is not your maximum strength so if you want those little details to add up to the strength of your smash make sure you are close to the shuttle getting it as comfortable as possible and getting it as high as you can Now, the strength of 
the smash doesn't only come from your arm. It comes from the feet all the way up to your upper torso. Okay? That is why it's very important to position yourself well. Again, shifting off the weight is another factor. So when you get ready to attack for a smash, you move from your weight, from your dominant leg, all the way shifting it forward to the other leg, and again, your dominant legs, your dominant leg comes in. So it's very important to be able to shift that weight properly. When you consciously think about it, you're not sure how your breathing is when you're running around. 
So do use your breath. Inhale. Upon executing that shot, exhale. Some people want the jump smash because it helps them. Truly, jump smash really helps in making your smashes steeper, sharper, more. It, technically, it's harder to take because it's sharp. But again, the jump smash also needs a lot of timing. So practice first the regular smash. When you're comfortable, then you can start practicing the jump smash. And again, jump smash, you have to put emphasis on being close to the shuttle. The closer you are, the better the movement, and even the smashes will be stronger. When we speak of smashes, definitely defense comes to mind. So do click the links that you see on your screen. Catch my next videos so that you can level up your game and be the next smashing success.